What the mainstream media was afraid to tell you about the news this week, this week. While the mainstream media was obsessing about the Bob Woodward controversy, here are the things that happened that really matter. The editor-in-chief of The Atlantic, Jeffrey Goldberg, admits that the central claim of his hit piece could be wrong. After publishing an article claiming President Trump canceled his trip to the French American Cemetery in France in 2018 because Trump didn't want to honor military veterans and citing four anonymous sources, 20 on-the-record sources have refuted Goldberg's claims, including John Bolton and others who were actually there at the time. In addition, an official White House memo shows the reason why the trip was canceled at the last minute was due to inclement weather. But did the mainstream media report that Jeffrey Goldberg admitted the central claim of his hit piece was false? Nope, they barely mentioned it. In the wake of Nancy Pelosi getting her hair done indoors at a salon in San Francisco, even though you aren't allowed to do the same thing, a new report reveals it's not just Pelosi who's playing by a different set of rules. Government gyms in San Francisco have been open for months, despite private gyms being forced to close. But did the mainstream media report on this double standard? No, no, the mainstream media was silent. A new study claims the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota was a COVID-19 super spreader event. But that study has been roundly debunked. In fact, no medical journal would publish the study. Instead, it was posted online on the Institute of Labor Economics website. Why? Because the study was based on a model, not reality. It based its conclusion on one day of Uber testing and then didn't adjust for the testing levels. The study also ignored the fact that South Dakota has seen zero changes in deaths from COVID since Sturgis and that the number of new COVID cases nationwide is actually down since Sturgis. Finally, the chart used in the study was statistical manipulation because not only did they use one day of Uber testing, they ended the study right when the data stopped showing what they wanted it to show. But did the mainstream media report that? Don't know. The mainstream media ate it up. Disney thanks half a dozen Chinese Communist Party entities, including a propaganda department and a police department in Xinjiang, China, where the movie was filmed, which is also the same location where the Chinese Communist Party is putting millions of Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. Not only did Disney film in that location while the extermination of Uyghurs was taking place nearby, they actually thanked the same Chinese Communist Party government entities who are carrying out this brutal persecution and oppression. But did the mainstream media report on this? Not really. Netflix released a new movie called Cuties. The movie is about 11-year-old girls who are part of a twerking dance troupe. The movie's beyond disturbing. In fact, it's child pornography. It portrays 11-year-old children doing explicitly sexual dances, posing in sex positions, touching themselves sexually on a stage. The movie actually reveals the naked breast of one of the 11-year-old girls and features crotch shots of the girls while dancing. But did the mainstream media report on this horrible sexual exploitation of children? No, no. In fact, multiple left-wing outlets actually defended the disgusting movie. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. As always, it's an honor and a privilege to sit here and talk to you every night about the things that matter. So thank you. And that's all I have for you tonight.